so much fun watching this show. I was, I was up to what? Almost two in the morning. Oh. I oh, awesome. First, I have to be honest. First, I'm thinking, well, you know, I'm just going to first watch the first 15 minutes. I skip to the middle and I'll. Yeah, watch that's what, yeah. I mean, you're. you're but you're then, bad. no. <laughs> the story. Yeah. That was so good. So tell me about soul searching because I thought the characters, all these guys are just, they're lost, right? Mm -hmm. They didn't expect when they. So I didn't even know this based on some real true story, Justin. Um, I think a lot of it was taken. I, these characters actually existed in some form mm -hmm. um, or another. Uh, through Benson's time, he did a camp like this in '84. Oh really? And yeah, they're all based loosely on on real people, okay. and I actually pay, played a uh, uh, Benson. You played Benson. Yeah. So this is the, what he thought he was. The ideal version of, of himself. I'm kidding. Yeah, but yeah, no, I'm playing pretty much a younger ben Benson. And uh, would, did you expect that when you uh, worked on this project that you would, I would say, learn a lot from the uh, Koreans abroad? I would, because there's Koreans from German yeah. all over the world, right? Yeah, uh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, you know, growing up, I didn't. I I had never met a uh, Korean German. Mm. I had met in from Mexico. Yeah, <laughs> I had yeah in in college I met some some you know uh, I had a few para uh, Korean friends who grew up in Paraguay, mm. but it was still like a new thing to me and and um, so yeah it was a total total trip. Um, you know it's funny though Jessica. I had known her way before we were ever working actors. Is she from the Bay? No, she's from South OC, like, like I am. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, so she actually was friends with an ex-girlfriend of mine. Oh, small world. Huh? Yeah, in the early, yeah, when we were... You can share that now on camera, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, because, uh, yeah, that girl's married and I'm, I'm married, so it's okay now. <laughs> so now, uh, talking, can you share about the preparation for this film and for the character that you portray in, in Soul Searching? Yeah, the prep, um, I got a lot of uh, source material from, from Benson, and obviously like I'm playing him, so I could directly just talk to him about, about Sid. Um, he gave me some interviews with Henry Rollins and, and some bands I should listen to, and, and he, uh, he also gave me this weird uh, reference, this Jim Jarmusch movie. <laughs> that name sounds familiar. Yeah, uh, he's a, film, a okay, very okay, famous okay. filmmaker, yeah, but... Um, but uh, I didn't know how it pertained to the character. I don't know. I just watched it, and I just was okay. I osmosis somehow. But um, yeah, you know. And at the same time, though, I, didn't, I wasn't trying to play Benson. You know, I did do a few things that like Benson. I don't know if he liked or not. I, I imitated. I picked up his walk, mm -hmm. and he didn't. He was like, I don't know if he liked it or not. But like yeah, people, okay. no, I just did it, and people were like laughing about it. So now, how was it working with? Benson Lee, did you know him prior to Soul Searching? Funny enough, I was a huge fan of Planet B-Boy. Mm -hmm. I watched that uh, shooting the first Twilight, and I remember on one of my off days, I just wandered into a theater in Portland, and I watched that documentary, and I just absolutely loved it. Um, so I was familiar with his work. Mm -hmm. um, but personally, no. I wasn't too familiar on a personal basis until like this movie. I, you know, this story, every, anybody and everybody can relate to, mm -hmm. not just Korean American or, or Korean abroad, but yeah. Asian Americans or Asian abroad, because yeah. we all have something in each of, of these characters. Um, you know, you find it like, let's say, um, Esteban played this, this guy, um, very smooth and, and uh, suave, and, yeah. uh, and it represents the culture from Mexico. Yeah. Uh, or uh, um, tell place one from uh, uh, Klaus Kim from Germany. He's very intense. He's yeah. very um, hardworking. And then you're you're this guy from California who loves uh, music and, and rock and roll. Very laid back. I mean, yeah. it's it kind of represents the, the the culture of each of the country that they they play. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. I think that's sort of the charm. Yeah, I think they're trying to fly this. Um, I think that's sort of the charm of the movie. Is is the fact that even though they're all, you know, all of us are Asian American, it's more of a universal story. Like we're dealing with what any teenager 
deals with with like family stuff and, and trying to you know find yourself and also like with girl or boyfriends and and uh, I think that's the strength is why it works with like a Korean German Korean Spanish because he's actually German and mm-hmm. he's he's actually like from you know Spain. from Spain and mm-hmm. I'm from America and like um, that's what gets you to look past the the Asianness of the movie and it's a more of a universal like movie with universal themes. One of my favorite scenes in this film is when you woke up and you saw that your roommates were wearing their Speedos, uh, yeah. <laughs> or like tidy underwears. <laughs> I, I don't know, but it also tells you, okay, I guess, you know, you're comfortable with lobsters while well, they find that really weird and you thought their Speedos were very odd and yeah. I guess it's normal, right? Yeah. For yeah. guys, if you your preference is boxers over whatever, right? Yeah, yeah. And that's common here in this country. Maybe in other countries, guys are more that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They find it weird? Yeah, I would say so. I, uh, I, yeah, I personally find boxers too, like, loose and, like, get it's punched up. Yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a very realistic scene, I yeah. guess, right? Yeah. Um, did you have a favorite scene in this film? Well, the reason I did the movie was the scene between me and the teacher, the Chai Pio, and that's the reason I, I did the project was uh, I felt like very connected to that scene and and it's like uh, you know a lot of Asian American sons or just Asians abroad or even just Asians in general like with the, the expectations that their families and especially their fathers have on them unrealistic sort of expectations um, is very you know widely felt mm-hmm. in, our, in our culture and, and I felt like that scene really spoke to me and is the reason I, I did the film. Um, is your dad very uh, supportive of what you do? Yeah, you know, my dad was actually an actor in, in South Korea, so like, you know, they're more supportive than others, but um, that scene in specific, I, 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 you know, just growing up, like, I just, you know, in other ways, my dad was very sort of demanding and and um, I definitely felt some of those things that, that were talked about in that scene. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, it's definitely the reason why. I chose to do the film. Is it common for um, a lot of kids in Korea, they don't uh, meet the parents' expectation, they decide to take a different route, which is commit suicide? Yeah, it used to be a huge problem. Um, I don't know about these days, I think like parents better. are better, but but uh, it used to be a huge problem and, and re- uh, expectations were very unrealistic. Do you, do you have a message you want to share with viewers around the world? Uh, I think in terms of this movie, just Watch Soul Searching. It's it's a it's a fantastic movie, and it'll you know there's a lot of comedy and drama, uh, all mixed into one, and you you can have a little bit of everything. And uh, I'm really proud of the movie, and and um, it's also very nostalgic, and you know John Hughes, mm. you know homage to John Hughes. So like if you like, yeah, by the way. <laughs> great soundtrack. So if you like if you if you like John Hughes movies, you'll absolutely love this movie. And what's next for you? What are you doing next? Um, well, I just I shot two films this year, but I'm I'm also hoping to direct a, a film in August um, entitled Gook, okay. about two Korean brothers who are running their family's failing um, women's shoe store during the first day of the LA riots, uh, and it's told through the eyes of an 11 year old African American girl. Oh. So yeah, I wanna I'm I'm hoping if I can get everything in place to shoot that. Mid August. Wow! Congratulations. Thanks. Yeah. Busy, busy. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta pay my bills. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sure you're you're enjoying this busy life. Yes. Yes, absolutely, and I love I love what I do. So, yeah. Thank you, Justin. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah. It's great. <laughs>
Thanks Justin. Vâng, đó là Soul Searching mà chúng tôi vừa mới phỏng vấn nam tài tử Justin Chan cho phim Soul Searching chính thức phát hành vào tuần tới ngày 24 tháng 6. Đã sẽ đến đây chúng tôi xin trân trọng kính chào tạm biệt tất cả quý vị và xin kính chúc tất cả quý vị có một ngày thật là hạnh phúc và bình an.